Ira and Carol Serkis is bringing you the 619 Vincente.com show. Now we have Walt Tickner telling us about this amazing elevator. So Walt, what can you tell us about it? The elevator has been trouble free for years and years and years. And it is one of the things that magically takes you from a car with an armful of groceries right into the elevator, close the door, push the button, and magically there you are in the kitchen ready to unload. Wow. Walking up steps, no having to worry about rain. what you're going to do or rain or anything else exactly. It's a, it's a really wonderful idea that Mr. Helbaum decided he wanted and planned the house around. Now we don't see many elevators in Berkeley, so Mr. Helbaum was a contractor, he owned a construction store, so company? A, a, Mr. Helbaum was um, an entrepreneur. He did, had his fingers in lots of things. And one of the things that he enjoyed was staying in one spot. He didn't want to move. He decided this was going to be the first house that he was going to build himself and the last one that he is going to ever leave. He put everything he had in terms of putting it together and uh, micromanaged most of the construction with it. Micromanager, I know all about that. <laughs> so what can, let's see the elevator we've heard so much about. Whoa, so check this out. An oak interior that Mr. Hillbaum uh, constructed and had constructed. An old fashioned telephone that works just for your security. We've never had to use it for being trapped or anything like that. The safety mechanisms in the elevator are uh, foolproof. Have ah. you ever been stuck in the elevator? Never. Never been trapped. Never been stuck. But I bet you this elevator has some quirks of things that the new owner should know about. What can you tell us? Well, there's a few really nice things. It's user friendly. Very, very few things go, go wrong with it. Um, when you bring the elevator up, it starts with a little oomph, so that you have to be ready for a little movement. When you get in the elevator from the top, the cylinder is going to drop a little bit, and then you go down for a smooth ride. Um, when the recirculating pump is almost full, you may be in the elevator, out of the elevator, you may be having dinner, and all of a sudden you'll hear this whirr, clank, whirr, clank. And that's a recirculating pump that's taking the uh, elevator oil that has drained into a little canister and putting it back into the main reservoir in the elevator. And that's an automatic process? It's an automatic process that you don't have to worry about at all. But it's just clanky, nothing is breaking, it just happens and sometimes unpredictably but it is an automatic thing that's done as the elevator decides it's necessary. And the elevator is a smart elevator. It's a, it has safety mechanisms built in, doesn't it? It does. The elevator, the, the way that Mr. Helbaum raised his family here was to make it very, very safe. And to do that, there are certain rules that you have to follow. One is, is that both the door and the gate has to be closed in order to operate the elevator. Also, the door upstairs has to be closed to operate the elevator. All the doors have to be closed. Once that's done, pushing the button, it always works. The other little quirk is called the safety. There is a safety switch. The safety switch is on this little control dial here. If you turn the safety switch off, the elevator is completely turned off and children can't operate it. So no matter what button you do, you can make a little little thing go, but you can't operate the elevator. So uh, if you follow the instructions, you never get stuck, and you never, and the elevator won't let you ever be trapped. Now this is really cool. Have you ever considered putting a stairway from the garage up to the house? You know, it's been so, we thought about that from when we first moved in, and it has been so reliable and so user friendly that uh, very shortly after we moved in, we decided that would just be not a place we wanted to spend our money.
You have to close both doors. You know, I'd be a lot thinner if I didn't have this elevator. <laughs> That's true. Now what I want to know is how you entered the elevator with Walt, but had this amazing magic trick. I don't see him. This is really a magical place to live. <laughs> so welcome to... Oh, wait a minute. Is it curious? <laughs> so okay. you have followed the rules by now. <laughs> you have closed the door. You have closed the gate. You have pushed the button. Your elevator has magically carried your groceries, your family, your wife safely up to the kitchen. And, and your you dog. And the dogs. <laughs> and you've got your dogs too. Well, I can't think of anything better to, to tell people how make what makes us so special. Thank you, Walt, and thank you, Robin. This is Iron Carol Circus signing up. We're not going to quit our day job productions. <laughs>